Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video tutorial 2 for the LSP Cake Smash Cutie Photoshop Action Set. In this tutorial, I'm going to be editing several images, several completely different styles from beautiful photographers around the world to give you some good demonstrations of how these actions work. If you're not sure how to unzip the file, install the actions into Photoshop, how to get them appearing in coloured button mode in Photoshop CS5 and upwards, Please do watch video tutorial number one where I go through everything included. For this video tutorial, we're going to jump straight into the edit. I have some beautiful images here sent in by amazing photographers, so I can demonstrate some completely different styles to you. So let's get started. I'm going to start using this lovely image by Elaine Campbell Photography. Now if your image was um, your white balance and your exposure was set out the camera and they look great, um, you can come straight down here and start on the skin retouch brushes. These actions are in workflow order, but that doesn't mean you have to use every single one. You only need to use the ones that apply to your image. So if your image um, needs a little boost, if the balance isn't quite right, then I'd recommend starting here on the instant image fixes. You have the instant magic mini base. What this will do is um, it will kind of magically work in there to decide what your image needs and give it a little boost there. All of the blue actions on LSP are sliders, meaning you have a white layer mask here, meaning the, um, the effect is completely showing over your entire image. And you can also slide the opacity up here to make it stronger or weaker on these ones. So you can customise them to suit your image. I'm going to use the Fix Underexposed for dark images here. So this is really going to bring the lights up on that image. And I think I'm going to add a contrast boost too. So I'm going to add contrast savvy booster just to bring in some of this detail. So we can see there before and after. Adding the Mini Magic Base, the Underexposed Fix and the Contrast Boost. So that gives us a really good starting point. Of course, whichever actions out of this set you use to balance your image will be independent to you, but they're all there. The next stage is the skin retouching brushes here. What you can do as well, you can add snapshot and flatten throughout, which I recommend rather than having a hundred layers showing. If you snapshot and flatten and then come up window um, history, I'm just going to drag the history tab up here on top of the layers, I prefer it there. What this will do, it will show you the original image here, and then it shows you a snapshot of where you were at that point in time, so you can always go back to that. So let's start with the skin retouch. The toddlers generally have beautiful skin, um, unlike newborn skin, toddlers don't tend to have dark red patches, they don't tend to have the veins on show, they don't tend to have the flaky um, feet and hands, they don't tend to have milia spots on the nose or baby acne. But they do come with their own set of skin issues. Toddlers tend to have um, dry eczema patches um, throughout the body. A lot of them do, even though the skin is gorgeous. We can have little crusty bits on the face that was perhaps missed by a baby wipe. You can sometimes get fine feather mottling over the skin, a little bit here with the arms and legs. You can get purple feet rather than the red feet of newborns. Sometimes they can have an orange nose and mouth from um, experimenting with different baby foods. Sometimes the eyes and nose are a little red because babies cry a lot of the time um, coming into a cake smash. There will be some tears at some point, not because of anything you're doing, because it's a new environment, because baby's getting tired, because they're teething. So toddlers do present with their own um, skin issues here. So on to the retouching brushes. Select your brush tool, set it to normal mode, 100% opacity, and 25% flow. You can go up a little higher if you want to 35, but I wouldn't recommend stronger than that. So you could either play the Smashing Skin multi-base, which sets up a multitude of choice layers here that gives you a complete base to start through, or you can go through individually and play these, um, each one that you need. So let's start with the, um, let's go for the light instant skin retouch here. And what this action will do, it will give you a complete retouching base um, that is customised for toddler skin. So I'm just going to make this brush a little bit smaller here. You can use the square bracket keys left and right to make the brush smaller or larger. And you can see this is just taking away 
any kind of dryness to the skin, any crusty little areas that were um, not removed. Of course, we're going to leave all that cake there because that's the point of a cake smash. But if there's any extra crumbs of cake that you did want to remove that you think are kind of taking away from the aesthetic of the image, you can brush those away there. This does not affect the original texture of the skin. This does not make the skin look like plastic at all, and this is so much faster than any other um, retouching technique that you could use by hand. So I'm just going to take some of these away. You can see I'm literally using um, the H on the keyboard at home to move around. i a little bit of goosebump skin there, so I'm just going to use this to minimise that. Just literally brushing it over. Be careful to avoid edges, um, any sharp edges. And you're left with a beautiful skin texture there. We have these little um, areas, little blinders in the nose, really, really common with toddlers. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this action there because there's just too much contrast between the nostril, the inside of the nose and the outside. So I'm going to show you how to fix that really quickly in a minute. So what should we play next? I think I'm going to play the um, Baby Bright Iris. This is for the inside of the eye, just to bring some brightness back there. I don't really like to um, to brighten up the entire eye unless it's really grey, because um, otherwise you can end up with these kind of piercing, over-edited eyes that do look a bit odd. I'm just going to bring the opacity down. With all of these are editable, you can bring the opacity up or down. Just add a little bit of brightness there. So now I'm going to play Accentuate the Face Brighten Brush. I'd really recommend um, this one for all cake smash images because no matter what the decor is, no matter what your setup is, no matter what's going on, you want to draw attention to baby's face because that is the most important part of your image. I'm also going to play the Contrast Face Paint too to add even more depth um, to the face here. Now let's get on to some of these tones. Play gentle red remover. Toddlers generally have uh, much calmer reds to the skin uh, than newborns, and then um, then you know grown men as well. They tend to have reds, but toddler reds tend to be a lot calmer and more to the oranges. So. I'm also going to play stubborn reds be gone. There's a patch here um, of red. It looks like a little scratch area there, so you can see that before and after. Any areas where you have to go into the tonal depth a little bit much, and the skin ends up looking a little bit green or grey, you can play the green grey skin swipe and just pop this over just to add a little bit of tone there and you can move the opacity up or down to suit your image. And if you want to go for the really soft skin look, you can play Cutie Silky Soft Skin. And let's just rub this over a little bit more just to finish. This gives a beautiful soft um, silky finish to the skin texture there. And of course, you play whichever actions you decide to suit your image, whatever the final look you want to go for. Play Purple Feet Warm and Lift quickly, just to give a little bit of brightness to these footies. Also works for the hands too. You have two cheek actions here, if you wanted to add a little bit more tone to the cheeks. You have the auto, which picks for you, or you have pick your own. Let's play pick your own, I'll show you how this one works. Hit continue, colour box pops up, and you just sample kind of a mid-tone area of the cheek there. You need to have the sample set to all layers. If it's current layer, current and below, it may just show white. So make sure it's set to all layers. And hit OK. And this one's going to play out, and it will give you a customised cheek tone um, that is suiting the natural tones of your baby there. So I'm just going to hit Snapshot and Flatten. Now let's get into a little bit of manual retouching in the Advanced Fix section here. Before you do Advanced Fix, I recommend using this action, Create a Duplicate Fixing Layer, to mean, um, so you don't actually end up doing anything on your original background layer. It's important to keep the integrity of your background image in case you make a mistake and you want to just delete it. So first, this little nose. So I'm going to select the um, Patch Healing Tool, which is on the Spot Healing menu here and you select and fix. So I'm just going to draw a really tiny selection around this little nose area here and hit select and fix, it will disappear. You can use this for anything, big or small. But you can watch a video 
three for um, more information about using this advanced fix section here. I'm going to use a smooth backdrop paper because you can see here, I'm not sure if you can remember, there's quite a few little rumples and wrinkles in the backdrop. And if you want to get that picture perfect backdrop, you can just brush this over. Don't brush any over any detail areas, of course, but just any areas in the background that you really need to remove those rumples and wrinkles in one swipe. You also have the advanced seamless background crease fix if you have large or deep creases in. And again, you can watch the video um, for the advanced fix section to find out how to use those. Now onto the colour changes. If your cake um, doesn't quite match your decor, maybe your decor doesn't match the cake, you can use this section to merge, bring everything in. So here on the cake we have a kind of a warmer icing with a more of a turquoise blue, whereas the decor is more of a baby blue and grey. So I'm going to use the blues bluer, but you can watch video 4 to find out exactly how to use this action set. So you see this is just gently bringing those green tone blues into the um, a bluer tone to match those decor them. So I'm now. So let's use snapshot and flatten. And now you're into the finishing overlay section. At any point you can go back up to the top and use anything else that you need to add. Everything is very flexible. It doesn't affect your original until you flatten. And again you can still get your um, you can go back in time here if you need to using the history panel. So we have the overlays here, balloon pop is bright and colourful. Uh, fill with gentle, so light contrast fill finish. Happy birthday is soft and vintage. Ice cream is your pastel rainbow overlay. Jello custard, creamy pink. Little portrait finish, mini mat, moody party time. And white wagon. I'm just playing a couple here. Which of these suit your image depends on your style, depends on how you want the final image to look. So you can just play some of these and experiment. You'll probably find you have your favourites here. So I've just played fill with light, party time, and white wagon. You can turn these on or off. And you can slide the opacity up or down if you want to, to kind of create a custom finish. And you can also drag and drop these over your um, other images there, or create a custom workflow. You can check out the SP blog of how to check out and create your own custom workflow. Let's just take some of these down a little bit. And then snapshot and button. You also have the black and white section, you have the simplicity black and white and the black and white soft art. What these do is create a brand new image so there's no chance that you're going to accidentally save over your um, original coloured edit. You have simplicity black and white and you have different options in here that you can turn on or off depending on how you want the black and white to look. And the same with soft art focus black and white. Let's this one down. Soft art touch is more for the real fine art finish that you want to get on cake, especially it's very soft with very sharp details. It's kind of a more extreme artistic black and white. And what you have in this one is three brushes. You've got define features, which you can use to, as it says, define those features. Shading, you can paint on darks. If you wanted to add more depth here, you can really pick out those shadows. And lighten, if you wanted to add um, lift and lighten anything there. You also have a matte option too if you wanted to add a matte overlay. And then you can simply go ahead and go File, Save, and save this as a brand new um, version of your image. So just close that and you'll see the original image pops up here. So that's Edit 1, um, where I go quite slowly using the LSP Cake Smash Cutie set. I'm going to give you a few more examples now with these images, but I'm going to move a lot faster because now you have an understanding of how the actions work. I'm just going to click and pay so you can watch over my shoulder editing these other images.